Hi, I'm Claire from Rock and Sun. We're on the final day of our uh, improvised rescue course here in Pembrokeshire on the coast uh, with DMM. Um, the final thing I want to show you is how we can safely ascend a rope using mechanical devices rather than using prussic loops. Uh, this technique is uh, quicker, it's more efficient and it's safer. What I'm going to use is a Grigory and a rope man. So this little device here being the rope man. Okay. So most of us have Grigory's these days or some kind of uh, assisted braking device. And it could also be two rope men um, here in this system, but I'm just using a, a Grigory because it's quite familiar to a lot of us. So. This is something that you could, it's quite heavy, but you could have left on the abseil rope. So often when we're working on sea cliffs, we kind of say that we leave the ab rope in place in case we need to get out, in case we need to escape. So therefore, if you have bits of kit that act as mechanical devices like this, there's nothing wrong with abseiling down with it and then leaving it on the abseil rope. So if you do need to get out in an emergency, it's there and you'll save a lot of time, okay? So if we're not practicing things like using prosthetic loops regularly, this is an option that's easier to figure out. And if you make mistakes, it's not going to be critical. So what we've done is we put the Grigory on, we can take in any slack in the system, and then we can apply the top clamp, which is a rope man we're using. This could be a handle Jumar uh, or any, any mini clamp device, like a traction. Um, and then that's on there. This one's quite small and quite light. Put a, a screw gate on the rope man. I'm just gonna stick it a bit higher up the rope. Yep. Uh, what I like to use with this, which does make a big difference if you're going a long way, especially if it's free hanging and you've got all the weight in your harness, is if you put a, a roller beaner, DMM roller beaner there on that, and I clip the rope in, I reduce some of the friction that we have going through that carabiner. So now what I've done is I've, produced a two to one pulley system. So as I push that up the rope a little bit further and pull down on the rope, I've got a two to one pulley system and very little friction engaging um, on the rope. So another thing I can do to help me is to have something to stand in. So again, I can then just use a sling. I can clip that in there. Okay, and then I can get my foot in the sling. Like any system, if you, if you practice a little bit to get the coordination right, uh, it can be very smooth and very quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ascend using this, this system I've set up. So I've got two to one advantage. I put my foot in the sling with a little bit of coordination. I can go up the rope quite rapidly. So I'll show you. Uh, there you have it. Um, we've been doing this all weekend with a good team of people. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in, in more information on how you can book stuff onto a course, um, and these courses, by the way, are, are pretty much free, donation only, um, then visit the website, rockandzone.com, uh, and see what we've got available. <laughs>